This is probably the biggest one, honestly, is just using the wrong bulb. Now, if you look here, I've got an assortment of some bulbs, and this is by no means an encompassing assortment. There are many, many, many more bulbs that are available for all automotive applications. This is just a small sample, a selection of some things that you might see. And I just kind of want to give you a, a variety out here so you can look at this and say, yeah, there's all these different bulbs. But more specifically, I wanted to show you this one example. I've got three bulbs here, and these three bulbs look identical. Not only do they look identical, but they all fit in the same socket. But these bulbs are not identical. They don't function the same. And if you were to try to install this particular bulb here, which happens to be a dual filament bulb in place of this single filament bulb, you're going to have a problem. There's a lot of ways that bulbs can be incorrect. They can be the wrong color. They can be the wrong wattage. And they can be a single filament versus a dual filament. This third one is probably the most problematic as there are a lot of bulbs out there that should only operate one light. Those are single filament bulbs. And then you might have a bulb that operates two lights, like a brake light and a tail light. The brake light's going to be brighter and the tail light's going to be dimmer. And then you're putting in a single filament bulb in place of a dual filament bulb. So even in this little display I've got here, I've got a few bulbs that all look the same. And they'll actually fit in the socket. But the three bulbs that I've got here to show you are completely different. One is an amber color, one is a single filament, one's a dual filament. So we want to make sure that the intensity matches, that the wattage matches, that the number of filaments that are in there are correct because we've got wiring for three wires basically on a dual filament bulb versus two wires on a single filament possibly. And when we start to put these in here, we could create short circuits. We can create back feeding, which might turn some lights on the dashboard. A lot of cars now have lamp failure modules signal acquisition modules. If you're driving a Mercedes, it's got a module for just about everything and you put the wrong bulb in there, it's going to know it. So I want to make sure that you guys are using the correct bulbs and avoiding bringing it into the shop because your dashboard is lit up like a Christmas tree.